Okay, I'm going to talk about my third capstone project, which is related to the sentiment analysis of reviews of Spotify. At the first stage of the project that I import required libraries for the project. And I read the data set, the data source, you can access the data source from Kaggle here, and you can access to the whole file, actually from my GitHub and uh, around three days ago, I put it on the medium too. So you can access them just by searching uh, Spotify review sentiment analysis. Uh, we have five columns in our CSV, time submitted, review rating, total sums up and reply. Actually, we don't have any work with time submitted, uh, with total sums up and re with reply. We need just review, which is text which is that each row of this uh, data frame of this review column shows the review of people. So it's completely the text, it's unstructured data. And we have rating as a sentiment analysis, which is from one to five. Uh, the second stage is uh, data exploration. You can see that we have five columns, three of them is object, two of them is, two of them is integer. We don't need total sums, reply, time submitted, so I drop those. And this is the final data set that I have, containing of two columns and around 62,000 rows. Uh, just uh, some another steps for more data acceleration is how many unique number in rating column. We have five, as I told uh, you before, we, need, we have a one to five rating. Uh, how many duplicated rows we have, which is 201, and we get rid of them. And at the next stage, I checked the null values in our data set. So uh, fortunately, we, we didn't have any null values. And this is the distribution of the rating that we have uh, in our data set. Actually, it's imbalanced data set, but it's not so uh, you know, tricky, so I leave it alone. I leave it to be imbalanced, and I don't want to, uh, you know, add any data or make it correct to make it completely balanced. I just want to uh, deploy our model into this imbalanced data set. So this is one of the, for example, comment or review of customers, the first review that we have. Uh, at the next stage, I'm going to pre-process our data. We are working with text, and text can contain uh, punctuation, a stop words, uh, because it's informal language. It's related to the reviews. It's related to the comments. We can have some spell, mis spell correction. We need some spell correction. So I define the function to process this text, to clean this text. First of all, we change all of the word to the lower word. If you have any capital character, we change it to the lower one. We change, for example, won't to will not, can, any NT to not, any RE to R, to be more organized. We remove URLs, we remove symbols, we uh, remove punctuation such as dot, we remove next line character and something like that. And uh, we remove a stop words too. What is a stop words exactly? A stop words is the word that is, uh, doesn't add any information to our model. For example, we have multiple of is, that, a uh, in our text and they don't have any, uh, they doesn't, actually they won't add any information to our model. So we need to remove that stop words too, and we have it in this uh, stop words English in uh, Python, so we can do it easily. This is the function that I created for cleaning the text. I apply those on each row of our data set, and this is the final data set that we have. This is the review that we have, and this is the clean review after applying that function at the end of the day. So for example, if I go and see one example this is the first review that we have in our data set and after cleaning this is what we have at the uh, final stage of pre-processing for example this grade changed to create with lower g
We don't have this comma. We don't have the because it's s stop, stop word. We don't have is, it's s stop words. And you can see it's uh, it's a better maybe text to check for the final output. After that, I defined uh, X and Y, our label and our features. The X is clean review and the Y is definitely our rating. We split our data set. And for the next stage, we, uh, I tokenize uh, our review and we change each sentences to some tokens. Tokens can be word, can be sub word, can be character, but here I used word tokenizer to turn all of the sentence to some tokens and change the tokens and turn the tokens to the numerical data. For example, the first uh, row that we have in our train data set right now changed to four numbers. Actually, it, it's four words, but we change it to four numbers with tokenization and turn it to the numerical data. And another step that we need when we are working with uh, text, with informal language, uh, with reviews, something like that, we need a padding sequence because, for example, imagine that one review has around 10 words. Another review has around 20 words and they have different sizes as an input and we have to change that to the same exactly similar and uh, same sizes. So we need something like padding. Uh, and I used 300 for our padding, for our padding, for example, the first sent the first sentences that we have changed to 300 dimension array with four of them is uh, the numerical object of the word and other is zero because we don't have any word for other. Uh, this was the, uh, you know, first stage of our project, which is data pre-processing. So I will skip the outcome of that to go for the model and deploying the model. Sorry, it's a long output. Okay. Uh, for the model, actually, I started with the base model uh, with the cross, with using cross uh, library. I use embedding layer, uh, dense layer as an input, uh, flatten that, and dense layer with five because we had five rating as an output. And the uh, Performance of our model can be seen here after 14 epoch. We have the accuracy around 60% for uh, validation and train data set. And you can see there is a very little gap between those, so we don't have any overfitting. Actually, I played with this model. I added some nodes. I added some layers to that to see what is going on, what will be happened in the future, and is it effective for us to, for example, uh, changing these hyperparameters and having better solution, having better accuracy. I did a lot of uh, experiments here. And uh, at the end of the day, I had the best model uh, actually uh, here with the accuracy of 60%. It's not good 60% actually, I know that. But based on the data set that we have, based on the imbalanced one, I believe that maybe it's not a bad accuracy because we were facing with imbalanced data set. You can do something else in this project too. Uh, for, for example, using cross random uh, tuner to see what is the best combination of hyperparameter to your model. And I use this cross random search tuner too and the best model that I get uh, was with seven number of hidden layers, 64 number of neurons, learning rate, which is just like this number. And the optimizer was Adam. And the best accuracy that I get with this random first, random search tuner was 55%. Actually, I used deep learning for this model till now. 
Now I'm gonna benchmark with traditional ML models such as Random Forest Classifier, Decision Tree, SVC, Knife Base, and something like that. I applied all of this model too, and you can see the logistic regression, the traditional model, have a 61% and it's better than deep learning. Why is that? Because uh, th there are many actually uh, reason for that. One of them is imbalance data set. Another one can be our text is, is not so much complicated to use deep learning for that. The number of rows that we have is not a lot to use deep learning for that. Maybe ML model can make a better prediction in this project. So that was my uh, third capstone project. And uh, that's it. It's done.